Welcome to Rocking Rooster Online Guitar Lessons. My name is Adam Jones and my job over the next 10 lessons is going to be to help you get the most out of your electric guitar or your acoustic guitar. Today and for the next 10 lessons we're going to be using, well I'm going to be using an electric guitar but they do, the lessons translate to an acoustic guitar so if you have got one of them it's fine. So what we're going to talk about today in lesson 1 is just a part of, of the electric guitar and what it, what it is you're actually playing. Um, a lot of guitar players want to just run before they can walk and start solo and play the guitar behind the head. So the idea of these lessons is to start you gradual, nice and slowly, and with some good techniques that, if used and practiced every day, will help you become a good, competent guitar player. Okay, let's move on to the guitar. What are you playing? So the electric guitar and the acoustic guitar are basically the same thing. I'm going to use the, the electric guitar today for the purposes of this demonstration. So let's just quickly name the parts and then we can get on to tune the guitar and then get into the fun stuff. Okay, so we've got our tuning pegs, our headstock, the nut, the neck of the guitar, the fretboard of the guitar, we're playing the spaces that are broken up by the fret wire. We've got the strings of the guitar, the dots on the neck are purely a point of reference. They're just there so if you need to access a fret very quickly, I know that the fret with two dots is fret 12, so if you need to play fret 12, you can go straight to it. You don't have to start counting individually. Some guitars don't have any fret markers on them, it can be quite confusing. We move down to the body of the guitar, the pickups of the guitar, our volume, tone, and tone, that's on this guitar, they do differ depending on what you're playing. The bridge of the guitar, that's where our strings come through, the individual saddles that sit on the bridge, up to the notes, up to the tuning pegs, and that is our pickup switch, which just determines which one of those pickups you want to use. Different guitars that give you different sounds. And last but not least, our jack input. We need that, obviously, jack it in, plug into our amplifier that I'm using here, which gives you the sound. Tuning pegs, headstock, strings, nut. It's our neck, individual fret wire, the frets themselves, the fretboard, the body of the guitar, pickups, a scratch plate, our bridge, the bridge saddles in which the strings sit, pickup switch, volume control on this guitar, tone and tone, and our jacket butt. So, grab the guitar, let's move straight on to lesson two, and let's learn how to tune the guitar and play some basic string patterns. Thank you very much.